I'm Sean Duggan, I'm a writer based in Liverpool um, and I have got a rehearsed reading of a play called Drama Queen at this year's Homotopia Festival. The play is actually based on sort of real life experiences and characters that I've met. I mean, it, actually most of the things, that stuff that kind of happened to me probably about almost going back 10 years now, when I used to go to Garland's nightclub in Liverpool a lot when it first started. Um, we used to go sort of every week, my friend was promoting the club and then usually on a Saturday night people would either end up back at my house or my friend, um, my other friend's house and um, Mark who was promoting Garland's at the time used to actually say my kitchen was the unofficial third room of um, Garland's. So I met during that time lots of very interesting characters and larger than life characters and transvestites who worked at the club and was basically, um, there was sort of certain incidents, shall we say, and there's, a real, there's events in the play that did happen in real life in terms of, I think there's a moment where two transvestites end up having fisticuffs, and there was a night where there was Queen Elizabeth II look-alike, we, you know, was in the club and we were out with her, and these were just all good moments and good characters and things I knew were kind of a gift for a writer. So the only thing I've done is take what might have happened over, you know, a number of years and condense them into a, a two-hour play um, and basically kind of put all these events together and they all sort of happen um, in, you know, sorry, in a two-act play over the course of one night rather than sort of ten-year period. I was sort of quite lucky, I suppose, because I got... Somebody told me about the Everyman and Playhouse Youth Theatres when I was quite young, 12, 13. And originally I thought that I wanted to be an actor or perform in some way until I realised I wasn't very good at that. But um, it was through going to the youth theatres that I got involved in being in plays and learning about writers and then actually just realising, you know, that it was possible to make a career out of um, writing. So I used to just write little sketches um, and even when I was like kind of really, really young, me and my sister and a friend used to put plays on in our bedroom, you know, in Norris Green, invite all the local kids. So we did always sort of naturally have those sort of theatrical leanings from a young age and the youth theatres were brilliant in sort of encouraging that and nurturing us. Um, and it was actually through being in the Everyman Youth Theatre that I came across um, a leaflet for the Royal Court Young Writers Festival, um, you know, encouraging anyone who wanted to to write a play. And I would never have known about that if it wasn't for um, the Everyman Youth Theatre. And I ran home that night, wrote a play in the one night, sent it off the next day, and um, lo was lucky enough to be one of the winners. And you know, and that's basically, you know, how I got into writing. And you know, over 20 years later, I'm still doing it. So. And it's so hard as a writer, especially in theatre or anything, to make any kind of uh, living, well, you know, near impossible. And the money in television is fantastic and there are great opportunities there. But a lot of writers who kind of start off in theatre and coming up with their own original ideas and stuff, will kind of be seduced by television and once you kind of then get into that sort of lifestyle, I know from my own experience, it's, it's very, very difficult to give up you know, that sort of money and to walk away from it. Uh, which is a shame because I say, you know, I was doing Brookside for eight years, doing EastEnders for four years, and, you know, so that's sort of just 12 years doing then alone. There was other bits and pieces. And, you know, in all that period, I was writing very little of my own sort of stuff, you know, which looking back is a shame, really, because I always started off writing theatre, writing my own original ideas. So I feel just coming out of that, that I'm only just starting to find my feet again, really. And hopefully Drama Queen is, is you know, is me sort of finding my own voice again.